Three weeks ago, Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico and caused devastation across the island. Now one Brainerd woman is hoping to get supplies to her family and hometown in rural Puerto Rico. Sarah Winkleman has more. More, more pet food, that's awesome. After only a few short days of collecting donations at CLC, Clarabelle is blown away by the support from the community. Brainerd is my new home. And so I, you know, I consider this my home, but Puerto Rico is also my home. And so when I see the home where I live reaching out, you know, to the home where I grew up, it's, it's very meaningful to me. Ever since the hurricane hit, she knew that even in Minnesota, she wanted to extend a helping hand. When I saw the damage and uh, I saw the need, I felt helpless. She reached out to Central Lakes College and their newly founded Civic Engagement Club to help collect donations. I'm happy that she's happy. I'm glad she, that, I'm glad for her and glad for her family and glad for the town that this stuff has gone to. Now these donation boxes can be found inside nearly any door at Central Lakes College for anyone to come in and drop off donations from the list. Think about your house being blown away, completely blown away and everything on the inside being blown away and that's the kind of stuff that we're the, the emergency sort of stuff that we're hoping to uh, provide for people. Clarabelle contacted the mayor and her brother, who is the police chief in her hometown of Aguas Buenas. After waiting several days for a response, she received a list of necessary supplies. My sister told me it was very scary. Uh, she lost uh, three of her doors because the hurricane actually blew them out. So I can't even imagine what they went through. Nearly 3,000 homes in Aguas Buenas were completely destroyed. It's hard to see the images. It's, it's very difficult for me because I know what it looks like normally. Even weeks later, items like toothbrushes, towels, and soap are extremely hard to come by. But in just over a week, many new supplies from Brainerd will arrive, and Clarabelle is forever grateful. Well, I feel like I've been embraced and my culture has been embraced and my family. Reporting in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. The last day to donate is Monday, October 16th. For a complete donation list, you can visit our website, lptv.org. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.